Angel Oak has a webinar on how to get into real estate offices, how to mm. infiltrate them, and once you're there, how to get those agents to work with you. Mm. It's really great stuff. Now, you get to listen to Frank for a whole hour uninterrupted with no commercials. Which is awesome. And it's gonna help your business. Mm -hmm. And again, it's free. Yeah. So you should check this thing out. Mm -hmm. It's brought to you by Angel Oak, and all you have to do is click this banner right over there, or if you're on Facebook, right up above. Now, I wanna say something right now. Say it. Houston, devastated by a hurricane. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing it down. Absolutely devastated. Right. But there was a lot of people, a lot of groups that were raising money to help Houston out. Sure. Florida, yeah. the entire state devastated by a hurricane. A lot of money down in Florida. Bunch of people from New York, when they retire, they go down there and get tans that are just too dark, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Puerto Rico, okay? Puerto Rico is a US territory. I'm not seeing anybody raise any money for them. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, that island was wiped clean. Mm -hmm. No electricity, no communications. I actually know a real estate agent and she had a family member who passed away in that hurricane because they couldn't get their dialysis. Golly. And this is not going to change anytime soon. So in our own little sphere, we'd like to bring attention to Puerto Rico and its absolute overwhelming devastation. If you'd like to give a couple of bucks to help these folks out, all you have to do is click on a charity that's located down below or again on Facebook up above. Now on with our show. Here's the total dick move of the day. Okay. Henry County, Georgia. Okay. Named after Patrick Henry, who was famous for saying, give me liberty or give me death. Mm -hmm. It was established in 1821, and it currently has a population of about 200,000 people. Okay. They boast a beautiful historic court building. Mm -hmm. They have an annual state fair. Yeah. And they sure are proud of their high school football team, the Patriots. Nice. Now, as said, the dick move of the day. Henry County, Georgia is being sued by Zillow. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll just let you soak that in for a second. <laughs> Why, you may ask? Well, because Henry County wants to charge Zillow $2,500. Wow, that's a lot of money. Right? <laughs> or about the cost of one premier agent account <laughs> for tax records that Henry County has yet to provide per the Freedom of Information Act to Zillow. <laughs> That's worth suing over. Now little old Henry County is already providing Zillow with information about parcel assessments, pictures, and other data through the assessor's office and claim that the tax records Zillow is requesting is a massive data dump that's going to cost Henry County time and money. And let's not forget, Zillow is going to be using this information, this data for commercial use, and ultimately it's going to benefit their bottom line of a multi-billion dollar company. Yeah, but... Zillow insists that Henry County, the most that they can charge per the Freedom of Information Act is $100. Not the $2,500 you slime bags want to charge us, but the hundred. So, Zillow is suing them. <laughs> this cannot be real. There's no way that multi-billion dollar Zillow, right, could be this gigantic of a dickwad. <laughs> There's just no way. <laughs> now, if you'd like to read the article where this information came from, where it was obtained, it's down below or up above. Now, for all of you community-based real estate agents out there, you pillars of your community, if the dispatch Argus is right, why are you supporting a company that's suing little old Henry County and apparently suing them for such an inconsequential amount of money? Suing them, which will fleece the community of money they could surely use more productively. Suing them for data to enrich their privately held site, their company. I just frankly don't get it. Why Zillow would do this and why you would support them with your hard earned money makes no sense on this side of the table. So action against Equifax from the CFPB is imminent, Brian. That's what we hear. Yeah. Thank God for the CFPB. Right. This proves that they're necessary. Darn, just speak it. Here's a question. Is it the idea to catch the problem before it happens and not to punish after the fact? Hmm. Because anybody can do that. We don't need a newly minted multi-billion dollar agency for that now, do we? Let the DOJ do it or anybody else. Yeah, the CFBB is the ultimate reactionary agency. Yeah, they really are. Well, Fargo, bust them after the fact. Equifax, bust them after the fact. What's the point, guys? 
here's the deal. I guarantee you any settlement that comes out of this is going to enrich the agency and the treasury of the United States, and you are going to see next to nothing for your breach, your personal information being hacked away. If anything, you're gonna receive a couple of bucks, and I mean a couple of dollars. That's the end result of consumer protection yuck. Case in point, from payment.com. The Federal Trade Commission and the Department of Justice are already investigating the cyber attack. See? In addition, Equifax is being sued by the state of Massachusetts and is also facing a class action lawsuit filed on behalf of 28 million small businesses impacted by the breach and another suit just filed by Summit Credit Union. And now the CFPB is jumping on board along with a whole bunch more. This thing is just warming up, guys. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. States, attorney generals, companies, individuals, agencies, all of them. Here's the deal, the more agencies that jump in and look for settlements, that's only going to water down anything that you might get. And truth be told, like we said, if we're going to have a new multi-billion dollar agency, let's get one that proactively helps stop this type of crap before it happens. Not another agency, one that enforces Forces after it happens, right? We've got this one covered. And for that, let's say we got this show covered today. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments section. We really appreciate that. We love it when you forward and share our videos. And really love it when you tag people. And remember to subscribe for free. It's over there. On our website, big orange button up there on Facebook. There's a link up above. You guys have a great one. Catch your monitor at the National Real Estate Post. Ciao, Maine. <laughs> With chicken. Later.